Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So I was contacted by Rachel Wang and her team who have a Amazon store and she asked me if I would like to pick from numerous items and to do a review, an honest review and try it out, see how it works. So we probably have been in contact since August. I want to say early August, maybe late, se late September, gee many Christmas late July. So why is it taking me this long? And sorry Rachel and team that it's taking this long, but my birthday was at the end of July. What does that have to do with this product? So my birthday was at the end of July. I wanted to do a quick manicure and I have the gel nail polish where you can put on the gel polish, you put it under lights, you stay there for about 60 seconds, blah blah blah. So did that so that my nails would look amazing for my birthday party. Well then I did something absolutely stupid and it is something that you should never do using the gel nail polish which is to peel it off. I had gotten, I have a nervous habit sometimes of picking around my fingers and so I had picked up a spot on that nail polish and went ripped it right off and that messed up my nails. So I realized that all the stuff to take off my nail polish was still in Texas. My bright idea was to, instead of just leaving my nails alone or going to the shop to go get more stuff, I didn't want to transport more product when I already knew I had it in Texas. So I peeled off all of the nail polish. Now when you peel off gel nail polish, it peels off your fingernails with with them. So what did I do to my nails? Um, right now they're a hot mess. They're actually going to go get soaked right now and we are going to use the 8 in 1 manicure and pedicure kit very shortly. So like on, you can kind of tell where it's broke off the top here. This broke sideways. So basically this is sideways. This looks like a rat chewed on the edge. This is kind of sideways. Um, I'm missing divots in the tops of my nails. They're all different sizes. Oh, my thumbnail is hideous. And I do have makeup all up underneath my nails from finishing this look, so sorry for that. But anyways, I thought, you know what? I don't want to use the manicure and pedicure kit because I ruined my nails first. So if something on, because they're, they're breaking so easy and they're chopping in half and doing all kinds of weird stuff, I did not want to use the electronic pedicure, manicure and pedicure kit and have the viewers think that it's a bad kit. I'm already telling you that it it's my nails at this point because of what I did to them in July. So I had hoped by waiting this long, basically, what is it, a month and a half, that most of the bad stuff would have grown out. And I mean, I still have like chipping on top. I mean, they're just pathetic. And that drives me nuts because I normally don't have issues with my nails. So long story short, I kept looking at this going, I've got to do something with my nails. I hate going to work and having my nails look this bad. So I'm going to go ahead and use this before my nails grow out totally and are back to 100% Amy nails. So when you are going to watch this video, if something goes crazy, like a piece of a nail flying off, understand that's my nails right now because of that peeling that gel nail polish off. But I decided, you know what? My nails really are tore up bad. So what better way to test a product that if your nails are absolutely bad and not in their best shape, how does this product hold up to it. So at first, while I felt guilty, and that's why it's taken me so long to get here, Rachel, I'm sorry, um, is I was afraid that because my nails were in such a bad spot that it would give a bad impression on a product that could be great. And I didn't want to do that unfairly. But I will say, I need help with my nails. My nails are tore to hell right now. So I'm actually hoping that this eight in one electronic or electric manicure pedicure set actually helps my nails. And that's what actually turned my thought process alone on videotaping my nails um, getting used by this. So I'm actually gonna be putting this baby to the test 
because my nails are tore to hell. So anyways, with that being said, and I'm sorry if hell offends anyone, didn't mean to be offensive, but with that said, I'm going to go ahead and go soak my nails right now, use a brush to clean them on top and underneath, and then I'm going to get started using this, and you guys are going to see how well does this do on some really, really bad nails. So get ready to have a good time. Let's go. So I've just finished using this one here to shape the nails. And now what I'm going to do is take the sandpaper one and lightly, because my nails are really kind of tore up right now, I'm going to sand off the high spots to my nails. Again, they're flaking, they've got grooves in them. Okay, I've got really thick grooves in my nails. So I'm gonna use this silver one here just to remove the, the ridges in my nails. I think for my toes, when I go to do my toes next, I will use the sandpaper one because my toes are a lot thicker than the ones on top, my, or the ones on top. <laughs> What makes this utensil really nice to use is I am not left-handed, but using this tool, even though I'm not left-handed, is really easy. And again, I'm trying to remove a lot of the ridges and the splitting that has happened on top of my nail and just kind of bring it basically flat. I've gotten so many cracks in, in the ridges from yanking that nail polish off that it'll get like um, makeup in between the rough edges. And then my nails look like they're orange when it's actually just the foundation getting in my nails. And as you guys can tell, I'm not a real manicurist. Never pretended to be one. Okay. This, these will be great on calluses. This one I'm using right now is a felt grinder and it is polishing the nail. So you can kind of see how shiny that one is. That one's kind of dull, so let's see how this goes. Makes it nice and shiny. Okay, this nickel disc is supposed to remove um, dead skin and calluses around the nail. It's got a silver bit on it. Can really hear it working well on my the dry parts to my skin around my nails. Again, I just have a habit of picking at that. Okay, I recently got some fingernail oil in with one of my beauty boxes, so we're gonna attach, attach. We're gonna put some of this lavender oil on my nails. I'm gonna let that soak in a little bit. We're gonna rub it in. Wow, what a difference. So basically, I am thrilled. This is not what my nails look like going into this session. I'm actually excited about using my toes next. This has been a fantastic tool. It, you can do a manicure in little to no time, which is fantastic. You know, the ridges that I had in my nails are all gone and it even helped where my nails my nail was splitting right here on top it it got rid of that flakiness on this nail and this nail 
I have to say I'm pretty impressed with this product. I will look it up online to see how much it is so that y'all can know how much this product is. Again, it's on Amazon. I'm going to have that link below. But considering how tore up my nails were prior to using this today, I cannot even begin to say how excited I am about using this product to see how well it smoothed off. Again, I mean, wow. So y'all, if you don't have a chance um, or if you haven't ordered a product like this, I would say you need to look into investing in one. It really takes the downtime of how long a manicure takes you to do it yourself in really no time flat. I think I started this um, roughly 10 minutes ago, which to be honest is tore up as my nails were. I think that is beyond fair to see, you know, smoothing them and um, shaping them and they were shredding. They, I mean, my nails were just awful. So again, y'all, if you haven't had a chance to use one of these, I think this is worth the investment. So I'm gonna put their link below. I am going to definitely give them five stars on this eight and one elect electric manicure and pedicure set. Thank you so much for allowing me to try it. They sent me this package to use and my response back was, please don't send me something that you don't think that, or you're worried I'm not gonna give a good review on because I can't not tell the truth. It's just how I build my channel. And they sent me this and hands down, I can see why they had a lot of confidence in this tool here because A, it's got a lot of great attachments that you can just put in this little base. B, it helped horrible nails get under control and look presentable again because they weren't presentable in the beginning. And it, again, I am not a nail person. Um, I don't know anything about doing nails other than what I like to do on myself and hands down for not having any training. This was super easy to use super user friendly and I mean who wouldn't want to have a salon in your own home so thank you so much for taking the time to watch me redo these horrible nails I was so embarrassed to even do the video but now I'm glad I did so thank you all oh my gosh my hands are normal again this is so awesome I love that tool this is fantastic thank you thank you thank you Rachel and team for allowing me to try this out. I really really appreciate it um, I can't I can't thank you enough for sending this to me you guys really you know You've changed my little manicure life here, and I just thank you so much